Hey, what's up, everyone? Uh, this is Angry Riker. I, <coughs> excuse me. Whoa. I'm uh, hanging out here in Ray's EDM room, and I just wanted to show off some code that I've been working on. There's me in my uh, cool spacesuit. I'm gonna mute this and get up on stage so you can see my cool spacesuit. Yes. Oh my God. Um. So. This is Captain Webstacks, which is the bot in Rave's EDM room uh, currently. Um, this is this kind of where he lives, and I want to show you a command that I added that actually uh, gets results from Reddit, uh, which is something I've been working on for a bit. Today um, was actually pretty quick because uh, Node.js has some pretty cool tools. Um, for scraping, uh, web scraping, uh, which technically means you're connecting to a, a website or a web server and uh, taking the results and then doing some processing on them. So let me show you what that code looks like. So this is base controls in BoomBot. Um, basically it's triggers and then runs a function, the JavaScript function in Node.js. So, the first thing I do is some argument processing. Uh, I allow you, I allow a bit of pagination here, so you can say like page two uh, of like this Reddit funny two, and get the second page that sort of thing. Um, and you can do subreddit changes like that, or front page just leaves it as the front page. Um, so. Uh, the, this is the real important part here. Um, I'm using Node.io, which is a really cool um, library for kind of connecting to web servers and web services and that sort of thing. And it gives you back a jQuery object. Now, I before I started this code, I wasn't really that familiar with jQuery. But it turns out jQuery is... Uh, I knew for a while it was kind of used like everywhere uh, for people who are doing uh, really heavy lifting things, parsing uh, JavaScript, doing web scrapers. Uh, especially for web scrapers, I found it's really uh, pretty intuitive and uh, pretty useful. Basically, what happens is you make a call um, or you can build a jQuery object if you're using it to build your own websites. Uh, it, for my use, I was grabbing another website uh, using this Node.io scrape function and this returns uh, Java, uh, jQuery, uh, what's called the jQuery object. <clears throat> and so this here represents a jQuery object and I, you give it an argument and it gives you uh, this is called uh, kind of the class parsing, I think, or uh, it's a way to get classes by the name. So a.title is the uh, class of this specific uh, object in HTML um, or oh, CSS if, uh, as well. Um, and then it gives you an each function. So basically what this does is for every a dot title, which is a link title, uh, I'm going to execute this each function uh, on it. And uh, what I do here is I just kind of uh, add the titles into the output, and then the bot is going to say the output. So pretty simple stuff. Uh, it, if you don't know anything about jQuery, uh, this might be a little confusing and uh, the node IO parts of the scrape function and the get h uh, actually get HTML I believe is jQuery I'm not really 100% on that one um, but if you check out node IO it'll give you uh, examples uh, that show how to parse the jQuery you get back uh, pretty simple ones and if you look at the, the jQuery documentation, you can do some really heavy uh, querying of uh, either pages that you put together uh, by building them. Uh, a common thing that people do is they use jQuery to build like an entire web page. And you can do some really crazy operations after you have 
uh, that uh, jQuery object built and you can just dump out uh, the jQuery object uh, kind of at any time or parts of it if you need to repeat things uh, or have little subparts of your website that you want to do some dynamic processing of. It's very useful if you're doing uh, a lot of uh, dynamic JavaScript. Uh, so that's why uh, part of the reason I believe people use jQuery, although I'm just kind of getting into it myself. Uh, so let me do a little demo here. Um, so I'm standing up here on the stage. This is the bot. I'm going to show off my Reddit command. So the first thing you might notice is I'm not really changing any of the links that come back. Uh, one of the things that I really want to do is uh, make the link shorter. So I'm going to execute this command, Reddit. And so he uh, gives got yelled at by in quick meme link. So this is a quick meme from the front page. The amount of people my ex is spying on my Facebook is too damn high. That is pretty funny. <laughs> uh, Jimmy McMillan meme from the front page. Uh, report details US. So this is on the front page. Uh, there's something about terrorism or something. I don't really care about that. I'm going to close it. Let's check some subreddits slash reddit. Funny. Uh, give me some funny stuff. Fly through the best. So I, I actually truncated these because otherwise there's just going to be a ton of spam. Uh, Jimmy Kimmel. Okay, so as you can see here, like this is something that I really need to do. <clears throat> is uh, for some reason Reddit is very inconsistent on how they uh, put their their ads. Uh, sometimes their ads are in links with kind of the same format as uh, the article. So I need to. So if I have mouse over here, I can see the whole output of it. And you can see he actually gives back four links, uh, and the, the first 20 characters on the text is truncated, and then there's this huge link. Uh, one thing I'm really starting to experiment with is using the Bitly API to shorten these URLs because, as you can see, they get some of them are really long, and I only want to show uh, I want to keep them to one line in this tiny chat window, so I can show all four. Uh, at the same time and kind of uh, do pagination correctly and not have to like hover over and see all this junk so um, but uh, I wanted to kind of make a video anyway because uh, I think once I started using the Bitly API the point really wasn't to show off the Bitly API the point of this video was to show off uh, some really basic web scraping with Node.io um, and also to just have some fun with Reddit uh, and so you can kind of say I'm still working on this functionality I'm not done with it I have to uh, parse up ads which uh, might is probably going to be some really non interesting code just based on some part of the link if the link contains I'm thinking of parsing out if the link contains like campaign as you can see here there's campaign equals Reddit funny that kind of indicates an ad that's not really going to be very interesting code um, so I didn't really want to show it go over it I just want to show the scraper um let's check out slash reddit uh, what else Aw, oh, let's see some cat picks or something so uh, I've got a cat pick here some uh, somebody's two cats named bacon and eggs meat bacon and eggs um and there is another uh, and I'm, I'm kind of truncated there and like I said you know the, because these links are so huge and I'm not uh, shortening them which is uh, the next thing I'm definitely gonna do with this code is using the bitly API to shorten the URL so I can get them all on one line because as you can see like this one is taking up like five lines here plus I think this is an ad so I'm gonna press it out anyway um, yeah I'm scraping reddit very simple using node.io um, I don't think I'm gonna actually try and push this out to main uh, boombot uh, if you're interested you can definitely uh, email me uh, 
let me I'm gonna just show and scroll through the code again it's very simple um, I do some argument processing like I said um, the URL and I add the subreddit if you give a subreddit if not I just set it to the front page um, and then this node IO scrape function get HTML uh, and then parsing the jQuery object and then adding together all the output results uh, up to and then boom bot respond um, down here so um, the last thing I'm going to do is just show pagination so I'm going to do reddit uh, let's do all and I'm going to do two and I'm going to get some different results here uh, I'm not really sure, but uh, looks like that one. It's kind of going crazy now. So yeah. Um. <laughs> anyway, hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, I'll try and do a video to follow up to show the finished. Um, like I said, I'm still kind of working on this. So. Uh, when I tried to do the pagination there, it looks like it kind of gave me the same results. I'll have to debug that uh, and figure it out. But uh, yeah, happy uh, noting and redditing. And uh, I hope you uh, guys have a great week. Take your angry rancor out.